we cannot forget what you know bring us what put us in this position which is hard work you know and uh, that's what we're going to keep doing as long as we are uh, you know working hard and uh, pushing ourselves forward uh, and believing in ourselves great things like that can happen and uh, but it's amazing um, from where we started where we've you know uh, where we are right now uh, it's been an amazing dream uh, uh, unbelievable journey um, so at the end of the day, we're going to keep working hard, and we're going to try to go in the farther, right? Thanasis, your thoughts on being with your brother, finally? Uh, I think it's something I'm really excited about. Uh, just in general, being with not just my old brother, with my family, you know, back in Milwaukee full time, uh, you know, just to make my family proud, myself proud, you know, and just keep working hard. Questions? What's up, Giannis? How you doing, man? <clears throat> Eric, where you are from ESPN. Last year was such a, a phenomenal year for you guys, everything you accomplished. But you're coming in in a, in, a, in a new role this year where, you know, you're going from kind of catching people by surprise to now, you know, you being a hundred. How, how would you, you know, uh, what's your expectation coming to this year, you know, in this new role? And then just a funny question, will you lead the league in mean, mean mugs again this year? I mean, I know you had a lot of mean mugs last year <laughs> at the Ducks. Um, you know, hopefully – Lead the league in the mean mugs again this year. You know, I have a lot of uh, crazy plays. Um, but at the end of the day, hey, uh, we got to do what we what we do. Uh, we cannot start thinking about what other teams are going to do against us and if we are handed and uh, if teams going to come out here in Milwaukee and try to play hard against us. And, uh, you know, that's going to happen. But uh, we got to focus on ourselves, uh, which is getting better each day you know, um, competing in the practice so you can carry over to the game and uh, just build that winning, you know, culture and that the great habits that we built uh, last year. Um, and if we do that, uh, we're going we're gonna to be one of the teams that's going to be uh, the one, the last one standing, and uh, that's our goal, um, you know, to get better each day and uh, improve. Eric named the athletic Giannis. This is the shortest off season you've had, and probably the busiest off season you've had. How do you feel like this off season went from a preparation standpoint? Uh, it was, you know, obviously, it was a really short off season. Um, but I was able to, uh, you know, get in the gym, do my job. Um, obviously, uh, I was tired physically and mentally uh, because we had a long season also, and then. Right away, I had a lot of things to do with uh, Nike, um, with my family, with uh, the national team also. But I'm excited. You know, I'm excited for this season. Um, I'm excited to uh, play uh, with my teammates, my new teammates. Um, I'm excited to go out there and uh, you know compete hard for the you know for Milwaukee and for the fans. Uh, Matt Velasquez, Milwaukee Journal Sentinel. You know, nowadays, there's a, a fascination with player movement and who's going to go to what team and where and when and all that kind of stuff. Now, Giannis, your name is going to be you know, thrown out there in those conversations a lot this season with your contract situation. How do you plan to handle all those questions as they come? Um, obviously, I talked a little bit about it last year, and I said, you know, that I'm not, I'm not going to talk about it a lot because, and I thought about it, um, this summer when I was, you know, sitting down with Nancy and my family, you know, the catch watching shows and all that, that, you know, I feel like if you have a great team and we, our goal is to, you know, win a championship, be the last team standing and, you know, get better each day, I think it's disrespectful towards my teammate talking about, you know, my free agency, what I'm going to do. Uh, so when the time is right, we're all going to talk about it. Uh, I don't think the time is right right now. Uh, obviously, our focus, as I said, is to get better each day, compete, go out there and compete as hard as we can. And um, um, I'm not, I'm not going to talk about it a lot. This is, and I'm not going to try to address it. Uh, Giannis Jack Maloney, CBS Sports. Uh, coach, when he was up there talking about you were trying to improve your le uh, leadership skills this summer, I was just wondering, kind of, you know, what that process was like, how you've tried to go about doing that? Um, obviously, you just got to be able to uh, be more vocal. Uh, you know, you got to, you know, uh, lead by example. 
Um, you got to be able to uh, uh, be able to accept criticism by you know your coach, by your teammates, and uh, you know be okay with it. Uh, and that's what what the leader do. Uh, and uh, I know that my team know knows who I am. Um, they trust me. They know I'm gonna put my body uh, and everything I got on the line for this team. And uh, you know, by doing that, everything else is gonna take care of itself. You know, obviously, as you grow older, you become more vocal. You're, it's easier to you know talk to your teammate, talk to your coach, and you know um, tell them your thoughts and what you think about the game and how the game should go. And uh, I think I've been able to take that jump each year of my career. And uh, I know that I'm going to take that jump also because I think by going to the Eastern Conference Finals, by winning 16 games, by playing under a great coach like Mike, uh, Mike Bud, it gives you a lot of uh, a lot of experience, and uh, hopefully I can use that experience f for uh, um, the benefits uh, to help my team benefit from that. Uh, Charles Gardner, Associated Press. Uh, Thanasis, what are your expectations for your role? this year, what what do you want to contribute? What do you hope to do? And for Giannis, I want you to just say what you think about, you know, being with your brother on the team. You've been with your brother on other teams, but now in the NBA, that's going to be even a little different. Uh, so for both of you guys. My my first thing is just, first of all, compete, first of all, you know, and uh, and gracefully, you know, just try to understand how the system works. After understanding that, trying to see where I fit in, try to see what the coach, what the team wants me to do, and then go out there and do it, you know, and keep working hard, and hopefully I can contribute in my own way. So that's mostly for me. I think uh, Nassis, as he said, he's a, he's a player that he's, he's going to be ready. Uh, I've, you know, talked, you know, with coach uh, a lot about Nassis that, Hey, this guy right here sits um, on the left of me. You know, I trust him. I uh, know that if you tell him to run through a wall, he's going to run through a wall. And he's going to get up and say, which which other wall you want me to run through? Um, I know he's going to be ready. I know he's going to co uh, contribute defensively and obviously offensively. He got to get better, you know, uh, learning our you know game plan and, uh, you know, the flow of our offense. Um, he's going to be able to knock down shots, and um, he's going to get better. You know, he's going to do the daily vitamins that we all all do. Um, and under a great coach like uh, Mike Bud, uh, he's going to you know learn how to use him, and he's going to use him the right way, and he's going to help this team defensively and offensively. Lance Allen from WTMJ, Giannis, <clears throat> how do you feel about the team um, that is put around you? Obviously, they kept as many guys as they could with some new additions and the options and what you have to be the so-called last, last one standing. Oh, uh, it's great uh, that uh, the whole you know, team is similar and we keep the, uh, all the pieces and we had great pieces around this team that make this, make this team a lot better than uh, last year. Um, what, I, what I can think about is that tomorrow training camp starts and that's day one. Um, that uh, we got to get better, we got to compete. You guys going to hear me say this all year, and I've said this six years so far. It's all about getting better each day and taking day by day. Um, obviously, we know we have the talent to be, you know, playing at June. Uh, but if we don't, you know, focus about what we're going to do right now, we're going to get lost. We're not going to get there. Um, so I'm happy that the team is the way it is. I'm happy that we have great guys and uh, guys that compete hard and have fun and uh, uh, love each other and like like each other. And uh, I know we have a chance over here. So we go try to get better every day and uh, hopefully we can be the team that plays in June. Justin Garcia, Bucks Radio. Uh, Giannis, we're obviously very aware of your journey here, but for both of you guys, you are teammates now in the NBA. You have a younger brother who is also in the NBA, and everything your youngest brother is accomplishing. Uh, talk about what that means for you to be on this level and to have your family achieving this. And this was the dream, but did you view this as possible in your wildest dreams when you were younger? Uh, 
it's it's crazy because this is uh, all this you know all of this happening we see it as motivation you know we see it as a compass that sets us in the way we want to go you know and i feel that uh, we're the best example you know for for us for younger brothers to keep working hard every day and other than this the only thing you can feel about it is just day by day like you don't you most of the times i think things like this happen when you don't think about them you work for them but then when the ch chance get comes then you grab them and then it happens so i agree <laughs> eric name the athletic Giannis. um can you just take us through what it was like getting to play in a full international competition with Greece this summer? And I guess I would assume a little bit disappointed yeah, with outcome, but just what was that like for you? Uh, it was great playing uh, for Greece and representing my country. Um, obviously, the outcome wasn't the one we were expecting. We wasn't able to qualify to the top eight um, or to the Olympics, but we'll have another chance to do that. Uh, we had we had the great team, but you know I think one one game one game cost us the um, cost us the qualification to you know qualify to the next round. And um, you know am I disappointed from it? I'm not going to say I'm really disappointed. You know obviously I'm um, you know mad about it and pissed, but uh, everything happens for a reason, and uh, you try to take you know good or bad. Uh, uh, the experience from every competition that you play and try to be better. Uh, and when you're in that stage again, know how to handle it and know how to, what to do. Uh, yeah, you know, the, the Greek national team, we're not done yet. Um, yeah. Other thing uh, I want to say is that um, obviously I was, I fouled that in how many games? Three games? Four games? Th three out of five games? Um, maybe you guys are not going to see that. Here uh, with the Bucks, I'm going to try to stay in the game. Stephanie Sutton, WISN TV here in Milwaukee. Um, question kind of for the both of you. Giannis, you guys came so close last season. What would it mean to you to win a championship here in Milwaukee but have your brother along for the ride? Question kind of for both of you. Um, that's a question that uh, I think is too far. Uh, but obviously, if we have, if we get to that point uh, that we play in the finals and we win a championship, and the Nassis is right there, and uh, we, um, you know, uh, taking the trophy and was that, how you say lifting lifting up the trophy. Sorry, guys. Uh, like I've been in Greece for three months and my English are shaky, but uh, lifting up the trophy is going to be amazing. Um, you know, everybody, every NBA player always, you know, dream about. You know, winning a championship, but winning a championship with your brother, uh, that'd be amazing. But uh, we got, we got, we got a long way to go, and we got a lot of work to do to get to that point. Uh, I mean, obviously, but like he said, it's a long way to go, and it's uh, it takes certain steps to do this. You know, compete every day, daily improvement every day, get better every day. And don't miss a day, don't miss a minute. They're like every play, every vitamin, every practice, everything counts for us to get there, you know? So it's a long way, but hopefully, I think we have the mindset, you know, to stay locked in, everybody, and, you know, look at each other for help and stay the course. Chris Doyle, Wisconsin State Journal in Madison. Uh, Giannis, obviously, you've gotten a chance to play up on the UW campus. Um, as somebody who missed college, is this kind of an opportunity for you to kind of have that experience with your teammates, or kind of how are you looking to take advantage of that opportunity this week? Um, you know, when we go up to Madison, we're just trying to get better each day, and we're going to be there a few days. Um, try to learn as much as possible, uh, bond as a team. Obviously, um, you know, I didn't went to college, but and I'm going to be the campus, but I don't do much. You know, I just go from practice back to the hotel from the hotel back to practice. So I don't really get to experience the, you know, college life. Uh, I think I did a little bit when my I went to Dayton to visit my brother a few years ago uh, that we were able to walk around campus and see, you know, what was going on and all the parties and all, you know, the college life and, you know, the campus life. Um, but, yeah, uh, 
yeah, if I if I had a chance, like you know, before I got to the NBA to just experience that life for six months, no, nah, not six months, probably two months, and then get to the league, I'll, pro I'll probably do it just to see how it is. Uh, Scott Gradsky, CBS Milwaukee. Have you guys had a chance to do any two on two with the Lopez's? How would that go if you take two of them on? <laughs> no, no. <I> think <laughs> it would be tough. It would be tough. They're, they're unstoppable. Like if they get to the paint, you cannot, you know, you cannot stop them. They're too big, too strong. Yeah, it's it's insane. Uh, they're both like, you know, they say they're seven feet, but they're like seven two or seven three. They're uh, they're really big. Justin Garcia, Thanasis, your experience with the Knicks four years ago. What did that teach you? What were your big takeaways from that? Uh, first of all, you know, just, just uh, first of all, just being in the NBA. You know, just uh, get to because back then, you know, uh, we had Melo, had uh, Carmelo Anthony, you know, huge superstar. He was New he's New York, and I mean now, obviously, he's my brother, but. I don't see him as my brother, you know. I'm, I just see an opportunity to play uh, with a guy who you know gets better every year, you know, and be here. So that's two things I, I keep, and not much, you know. I didn't get to play. I didn't get to play that much. So it's a new thing for me. It's a new experience, and I'm still learning how to how to be here. We have time for two more questions. Dan Schaefer, NBA Europe. Uh, looking ahead at the schedule, you obviously have a pretty interesting date on there with the NBA game in Paris. Um, what are your thoughts on that game, lo looking ahead to it, and how important is it to you to grow the sport internationally? Mm. Uh, it's, I mean, it's it's amazing for the sport. First of all, you know, we're European, so uh, we understand how huge this is. You know, having a game, having go by games, and especially uh, in a place like Paris. And that is going to be really exciting for the fans all over the world to be able to come watch an NBA game. I know people are traveling from all around, not from Europe, from Africa, to come see the game in Paris. So it's an exciting thing. I think it's amazing. I agree. I think it's going to be it's going to be fun. We had a chance to go to London a couple of years ago. That was really really fun um, to play that game. And as Tanas said, there's fans all over the world that are going come and watch the game, and especially from Europe. Um, so hopefully we can, you know, represent the NBA in the right way and, uh, you, know, um, you know, give them a show to watch. Uh, Matt Velasquez, Milwaukee Journal Sentinel. Giannis, last summer you guys, you know, organized a, a team, you know, mini camp in New York a few weeks before training camp started. Obviously a lot of you guys were playing overseas during the summer, but were you able to get together as a team to, to start building towards this season? And if you weren't, you know, how big of a difference might it be, you know, starting just fresh now? Uh, I think the team, yeah, we, we got together. Uh, you know, we, we've been working out, we've been playing against, uh, you know, uh, one another for a couple of weeks now. Um, and it's been great. Um, I think guys have gotten a lot better. Uh, guys are out here competing, playing hard, and it's the season I haven't even started yet. Uh, obviously, we know we're close to the season, but it hasn't started yet. It starts tomorrow. But yeah, we was, was able to, you know, click as a team and bond as a team. And obviously, we, we're the same people, except the Nassis, Kyle, West, Robin, and uh, Dragon. Uh, but yeah, we had the chance to play together and play some 5 for 5 you know, hit one another a little bit and, uh, you know, just compete. Yanni, when I talk to you, I say Yanni. When I talk about you, I say Giannis. Yes. What is the proper way to speak to your brother it's, it's directly? Same. You take the S out. You say Thanasi. 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 Yeah. And then Thanasis. And then when you talk about him, you say Thanasis. Thanasis. Yeah. Okay. Yanni, Thanasi. 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 Thank you. You're I'll welcome. get that. Thank you, guys. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.